If you want cheap coins, go and check out the link in the description below and use the code VAN for 5% off. What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got a few of the top 5 January transfers of the BPL. This is the deadline day transfers we're talking about. So these are the last minute transfers that absolutely saved some clubs. And actually, you know, a lot of clubs made a lot of money off some of these transfers as well. So let's get into number 5. So hitting the number 5 spot is a young man called Daniel Sturridge. Back in 2011, he moved to Bolton from a loan move from Chelsea FC. Of course, he has played for Manchester City before in the past as well. He actually went on to score 8 goals in 12 games for Bolton in the lower end of that season. Uh, he did actually become one of six players to actually score four goals consecutively in games since signing from uh, another club. He, however, was only alone and he did go back to Chelsea where later on, a couple of seasons later, he did actually move to Liverpool where he is now. Uh, so for me, that is a very successful deadline day transfer to get a player that's going to come in and score eight goals for you out of 12 games is not half bad at all. In at number four we have got Yusuf Malumbu. The guy arrived to West Brom from PSG initially on loan that did actually go out in the summer as a permanent transfer. He actually signed for less than £200,000 and that is a hell of of a deal because he was actually voted the player of the season by club and fans the following season, the 2009-2010 season. So if you put that in comparison to some of the huge transfers that were going around at the time, that was an absolute steal. £200,000 for a player who's still at West Brom and is still putting in some pretty good performances these days. He's played over 150 games for West Brom, scoring around about 15 or 16 goals, so that's not too bad for a centre defensive midfielder as well. In at number three, we have got Jermaine Defoe. The guy has recently moved back to the Premier League this year in the form of Sunderland. However, he didn't score on his debut. Prior to the Sunderland debut, he's actually scored in every single debut he has ever played, including the one for Pompey, which was in 2008. He did actually move from Spurs and he actually went back to Spurs the following January. However, during his time at Pompey, he actually managed to score 17 goals in 36 games, which is pretty impressive, and they managed to sell him on for 15 million, so they made nearly 10 million profit on him. So that's not a bad transfer at all to say you've got a player who's got that many goals in him and you actually sell him on back to the club that you bought him off for profit. It kind of reminds me of Matic for Chelsea. Um, let's move on to number two. In at number two, we've got Azmir Begovic sticking to the Portsmouth theme. We actually signed him from Portsmouth to Stoke for a measly fee of 3.25 million pounds. Now, if you look at him now, he's one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League, hands down, arguably one of the best goalkeepers in the world. I'd definitely put him in the top 20. Uh, there is a lot of other good goalkeepers out there, but he actually was voted player of the year again by fans and club, and he's actually one of five goalkeepers to score a goal in the Barclays Premier League. He's actually you know, I think it's about 100 yards out. It's a crazy, crazy goal. And it's all thanks to the way he kicked it and the amount of wind that's actually at the Stoke ground. It's an insane goal. If some of you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check that out. It's a really good goal. Uh, really fluky, but, you know, really good to see. Uh, we're going to move on to number one spot now. And I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. I think it's pretty obvious who this guy's going to be now. And, of course, if you guys have been paying any attention to this video, you're going to see we're at number one now, and it is, of course, Luis Suarez. He arrived at about 22 million from Ajax. He actually had a 49 goal scoring season there. Came to Liverpool, he scored fantastic goals for Liverpool. He had a fantastic record as well, scoring 69 goals in 110 games. Now, if you want to be a successful striker, you have to have a record of at least one goal every two games. Suarez actually smashed that at Liverpool. He's now playing for Barcelona and you know, Liverpool made a hefty profit on him as well, selling him for around about £75 million. That is subject to go up, as of course, you know, with additional fees that do get added on. So for me, that is hands down one of the best January transfer deadline days. He's actually initially signed to replace Torres and then uh, I think Andy Carroll came in as well uh, in the same season. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you've got any players that you're linked to because it is transfer deadline day today, any club, then drop them in the comment section down below. And if you want to see the top five worst Premier League deadline day signings, then make sure you smash that like button, 200 likes, and I will have to think about doing it today because I really am looking forward to getting that out for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.